Does this do anything for you? I want our first night together to be exciting. I hope the waiting hasn't been too hard on you. There's something I have to tell you. This fits very snug, and you may have some trouble getting it off me. You may have to tear it off my body. Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri is about three magical billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri. The three magical billboards wish is to advertise once more. So they possess this crazy old drunk woman to run a campaign of terror against local city officials, driving one police officer to dress up like the Zodiac Killer. Only after Sam Rockwell performs the ancient one and up a dance of cleansing does this crazy old drunk woman regain her faculties and together the two vow to destroy the fiendish billboards and save the world. Pretty solid film if you are uninitiated. Filled with humor and drama this movie about the mother of a raped murder victim seeking answers is sure to fill your heart with joy. Now let's start this party poppin with a pate of best. In this scene, the contentious chief is interrogating our heroine. Apparently, the law frowns upon poking holes in dentists. You think I care about dentists? I don't care about dentists. Nobody cares about dentists. Or maybe not. This scene highlights the deliciously decadent juxtaposition in the film. Let's watch. His word against yours, though, right? <sighs> Charlie don't know about him, does he? It's none of his business. Well, he's kind of paying for him, though, ain't he? This is cool, Brad. As you can see, a pretty standard, if not cliche, confrontation between the two main players. Jabs back and forth, one gets the upper hand only to lose it after a quick quip. And then Eureka. Something that subverts this battle of wills into a powerful moment of humanity. I'm paying for him. This month you are. How about when... <laughs> Here, her confusion echoes our own. We've seen this scene hundreds of times in different movies. And instead of a game of intellect parcheesi, the cop coughs up blood onto our protagonist. Immediately, the tone of both the scene and movie have changed. And we'll close out the best with Officer Woody's spirited response. Uh, I didn't mean I to. Know. It was an accident. I know, baby. I'm gonna go get somebody. Thankfully, I selected movies I genuinely enjoyed. For various reasons that I'm not gonna get into at this moment, thank you. Oh, wait. Anyway, this is the moment in the film where I said, Seriously? You were doing so well, and now... Why don't you just walk, Angela? Why don't you just walk? You know what? I will walk. I will walk! And you know what else? Yeah, well, I hope you get raped on the way, too. Forgetting the odds of her daughter getting sexually assaulted and murdered on the same day her mother ho hopes openly that her daughter gets sexually assaulted and murdered, this feels out of place. I understand you're trying to place some blame on the mother, but maybe instead of saying, I hope you get raped, too, maybe she drank too much and left the car somewhere. Maybe the daughter had bad grades, so she wouldn't let her use the car. Or maybe forget the scene entirely. This movie is about after the event. 
And seeing as this is the only flashback, it seems, like I said, a little out of place. Two more minor issues, one thespian in nature, the other follicle in nature. Bad hair. This was only perhaps a scene or two, but whenever the sun Ooh, was, I think, emoting see. sad, I got sudden kids from Jurassic World flashbacks. Because if there was two seconds in a day when I wasn't thinking about her and wasn't thinking about how she died, there you go, think about it some more, why don't you? It's good too. And perhaps the most damning strand of villainy, we leave for last. I said, your hair looks stupid. What did you say? Wow, Dave, those are some pretty good, or should I say, bad choices.